All right, everybody, we got a package in today. We're gonna open it up and check out what's in there. I have a good feeling I know what is in there already. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm not gonna be installing it probably for, I don't know, a couple days at least, a week. I gotta do a lot of work to the head. Uh, I'll be videoing that, obviously. Um, I'm gonna make my own dial read all by hand, which is gonna be extremely hard since I don't have a milling machine, but this is going to be the basis for it since my other one took a little bit of a crap let's open it and see what's up inside very excited guys Go to the big one because that's the only one we care about. Oh boy, there she is. Boys and girls, we want ourselves a new 100cc. Very nice, very nice. Eight millimeter studs, all Allen head. Very good. 40 millimeters stroke, intake, and exhaust. We're good to go, guys. We are good to go. No cracks visible. Everything seems pretty solid on her. But we're going to mill out. I think it's this one. I gotta look on my other one. I think it's this, 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 this. I think it stops there. I think it, it's just these. I'm gonna break them off and then I'm gonna mill it down by hand somehow, figure it out. I'm gonna do it. And I'll put that piece of aluminum in and run the strap on the other side like I did my other one. But this one I'm gonna do all by myself and by hand. It's got a stacked gasset. It's got two. It's good. All right, we're very excited about this, guys. So this is a great thing. I cannot wait to start working on this one. All right, check you later. Well, I put on the rim. Put a new rim on the front. I made this contraption with this brake because I was burning through pads way too fast. So I think it's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Seems half decent. And I put this rim on. The chain is touching just slightly. But worse than that, bigger problem is I just found out and I'm very upset because my bike is trash. I'm gonna ride it out until the frame completely cracks. But if you look right there, it's a crack. And right there, let's see if I can find it. It's a crack. So it basically, it goes here and comes up here. It's basically right where the bolt went through. So it is garbage, but I am going to ride it out until it completely breaks because I'm an idiot. So, um, side note. Oh yeah, I, never, I don't even think I showed you. I, I, my phone's been down. I just got my new phone. It is not a new phone. It is a used phone, but it is new to me. It is a 10 Max Pro. It's, I had the 10 XR, which I found was the cheapest iteration of the 10 there was, which is fine with me. I don't you know, care, but the screen was totally trashed. After my accident on the bike, the, um, the screen just slowly but surely disintegrated. Um, it looked like it had ink 
running down it and then some lines and it was just a problem so whatever is what it is so a lot's happened and i couldn't record any of it because you know things happen um but my wife's bike 77 dollars the whole kit what i'm thinking i had a whole bunch of stuff recorded on the other phone but it is shot so i can't do anything about it um see everything's phillips I'm thinking this is like old new stock because you don't see anything with Phillips anymore. And well, this one is now, but the one of them was chewed up a little bit um, and then painted over. So I'm thinking it was probably a motor that got sent back, whatever. For $77 with shipping, like you, you can't complain. That is awesome. We actually bought two of them. She bought it for me. She bought one for me. She bought one for herself so she can get up and running. Um, it's got really good power. Runs great. Uh, my buddy's bike still didn't pick it up he was waiting for me to do this uh, i did a conversion brake kit for him too it's just a cheap conversion kit but it's better than going through a thousand and one pads he has my old rim the one that i had on my bike uh, i couldn't mount the disc any other way except giving him the rim he's gonna pay me for it obviously but i i, I had new rims coming for my bike because I wanted a matching set and the only way I could order them no matter how much I argued with the people from uh, eBay about it is if I bought a matching set so I did I bought a matching set um, other than that it's pretty good I bought a new cassette just a, um, a freewheel not the actual cassette multiple but I got this in I had to put a slight spacer on that side um, because it was just about to touch the frame or just touching the frame so it's only going to be temporary because now that i know that the bike is shot it's not going to last much longer to be honest with you but i think it looks super good with the new rims i'm leaving the uh front brakes still connected like i'm not unscrewing them just until i'm sure that that's going to stop me and i'm confident because it literally just got put on um I just got the phone going, otherwise I'd be recording. So that's why I'm recording now, kind of after the math, but it is what it is. Just, uh, I wanted to just document it, so at least it's done. Also, I don't think I showed this. This is gonna be my new build, hopefully. Maybe, probably, we'll see. But um, basically what it is, is I was given the frame. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I like the way it's a, a 700C or whatever, but I like the way the back is. It's already set up for like rotor, but it's, it's got slides. So you can take a slack out of the bike. It was probably a fixie, but I'm thinking if I could put the YD in here, it's such a this flat tire, but it's such a uh, laid back frame and like skinny tires, I'd probably really scoop. And I think I can have a lot of fun with it probably break my neck at the same time but still nothing wrong with that so let's see hopefully we'll see what we can do i don't know but my buddy's bike oh here this is this is why this is why i ordered new wheels the axle is missing when i was riding it the other day my axle snapped it broke all of a sudden and stopped to be honest with you it broke and started wobbling. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, I was scared as all get out because of my accident. I thought I had a flat tire and for sure I was going down. I wasn't really going fast, so I was lucky that way. But uh, either way, it was still a little nerve wracking to be honest with you. So either way, it wasn't, it was just some simple nonsense and uh, the axle broke on me. It's a shame because that wheel was a pretty good wheel. It did me well. That's that. I just wanted to show you while I was up. Now, the motor is running good, man. This motor really does run well. I'm not going to lie. This, this 80cc, or what they call 100, which is not, or I'm saying it's a 49 millimeter piston, which it is not. It is 47 millimeters, but whatever. I guess the tape measure was lying. Either way, uh, I really like it. I do have a new gas tank. I put a new gas tank on 
because mine was leaking. Drip, 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 and it was driving me bananas. Other than that, everything seems pretty good. I'm upset about my frame because this was like my dream bike, but to be honest with you guys, Tara Reed is gonna have to be retired because she is broken. And honestly, the, the, the thing I really should do is just get myself a frame that is meant for motorized bikes. That's what I gotta do. I need to find a frame on the cheap that I can build up and have fun with because this one's just not gonna do it. But I got that one. So I'll probably play with that one until I figure it out what I'm definitely gonna do. I really wanted to keep this one as my cruiser bike, my Canon Del Terra Reed. I wanted to keep this motor on it and this setup and I just, just exactly how it is honestly and keep it and cruise because it is so comfortable to just ride. Um, but I'm not gonna be able to ride it much longer with that crack frame. So, but hopefully the new one will kind of do a similar thing. We'll see. Either way, just wanted to give you guys an update and tell you thanks for watching. If you get a chance, please hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Um, doesn't bother me more than anything please drop a comment and say what's up uh, everyone gives me their two cents i enjoy that um because i literally know nothing about these things except for what i find out on my own which is okay with me um i'm not really one to listen to anybody because i'm very bullheaded and it doesn't sink into my head until i figure it out for myself you can tell me until you're blue in the face but until I break it or get hurt, it doesn't really sink in. Just the way I'm programmed, I don't know why. But either way, um, yeah, so drop a comment, say what's up. And uh, I hope to catch you guys later. Um, I'm assuming somewhere in here I put a little blurb of the box and the motor. Which I'm hoping will fit on the bike over there. That one. If it fits on there... I think I'm going to try to build that out. I got a couple parts. Who am I kidding? I got everything I need to build that. Yeah, I got everything I need to build it. I am going to put the dial read back on. But I need to... I don't have a cylinder head to put the dial read on. So I have to make it myself. So maybe in the next video, you'll see me literally making the cylinder head by hand flat to bolt that big piece of aluminum that they put on there. I don't know if you remember my other video where I had to strap it through the head and clamp it to it, but I'm gonna take it off the other one because it's still fine, the chunk of aluminum's fine, but I gotta flatten, I gotta break all the fins off and I gotta flatten the actual cylinder head by hand because I don't have a mill and I didn't want to go to Gomax and I looked all over eBay I looked everywhere but I had to buy the entire kit everywhere was listed a kit instead of just a cylinder head mated for uh, a dial read so I just bought the cylinder itself stock and I will do it myself I will cut all that off and I will mill it down by hand and make it flat. And everyone's gonna tell me I can't do it, which I probably cannot, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, all right, I just thought I'd let everybody know what's going on. Um, I'm gonna take and clean up the tools. Um, mosquitoes out for the first time. That's kind of cool because it's actually pretty warm out. But um, I'm going to clean all my tools up and take the bike for another spin just because it has been uh, a week. Yeah, it broke last Thursday. It broke last Thursday and today is Thursday. So a week ago, it's been a week I haven't rode my bike. I mean, I rode my buddy Scott's bike uh, while I still have it. I rode my wife's bike, but I haven't rode my bike and I didn't ride there's much because 
I just didn't want to. But I did ride his to go pick up my new phone. Because I needed the new phone. Um, Alright guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Peace.